Oh man, it's that moment I've been waiting for. I think sort of been waiting for. It's just been delayed for two years, if not one, I think. But this game is still relatively new, the one that I'm about to show you right here. So, greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and those who've been watching my videos. Here we are at Eliza. So, this is a game by Zachtronics, um, which is interestingly produced by Matthew Seiji Burns, who has been a musician or a rather a composer for Zachtronic games. And yeah, they published and developed by Zachtronics as well. So, this is gonna be a game where. Um, I think it's going to involve a little bit of my knowledge on psychology, I think. Um, it's probably not going to be that much, but uh, since I've gradu graduated for like uh, two years now, so I've kind of forgotten a little bit of that uh, part of the subject, sadly, and now I've been focusing on work that's even straying away from psychology. Uh, my my current psychology study, despite I still have slight interest on that, thankfully. But um, yeah, this is going to be an interesting thing because I think it's going to be my first visual novel uh, playthrough that I'm going to play. I uh, basically the reason that I play I want to play is because I'm rather interested with the electronics uh, genre of games where they tend to rely on programming and such. But, um, okay, before I continue though, I think we can start to set the options first because I don't want to play the side of full screen, I prefer it to be windowed. Uh, okay, so apparently Eliza can be captured using window capture and not the game capture. I don't know if, if that's going to be like the case for the rest of my uh, experim experience around here. Uh, maybe just Eliza so far, but uh, I guess so. You know what? I'm not gonna screw with it that much, and um, I, I apparently just just like only going to have one achievement, which is going to play one of the games, uh, side games later uh, in the game. So uh, let's get into it. This game saves automatically. You can pick up where you left off by selecting continue from the main menu. Sure. Here we go. Chapter 1. I had a dream this morning, but I can't remember what it was. Seems we're on the train in the train too or something. It all vanished when the alarm went off. First time that's happened in a while. Hmm. Okay, I need to look at the menus first. Oh, nice. We have history, which is interesting because I could have missed out uh, some certain thing in the chat or so. That's cool. That's cool. There should be no lore stuff of of something about that going on. Hopefully, like maybe that relates to Eliza or something. That's something that we have not yet uh, passing through for now. Oh yes, the music's on. I've been drifting away inside my own world for too long. It's time for me to wake up. Aha! We are indeed uh, on in the train. That's nice. Seen some uh, some of the persons around here. I wanna think that this is Affleck. I don't know about the other spot. I do feel this is Affleck because from the character from the uh, beginning, the, uh, the title. Yeah, she's short-haired. Probably that's our main character here. Yeah. What are you supposed to do on a light rail? Use your phone, I guess. Or look around. Ooh. Oh, hello. Ooh. Next stop, 
Let's uh, look around. Ah, the proxy. How do you go back? Okay, there it is. Zip chat. Mm. Swift mail. Evelyn Ishino Aubrey. You will do it. I believe in you. Uh, proxy coordination center. Scandal orientation. Dear Evelyn Ishino Aubrey. Interesting. So she has a little bit of Jap Japanese name and um, Western name too. I assume that being Japanese because that kind of spells Japanese. Congratulations! You are taking the first step on an exciting and rewarding career with the Scandal family. Please show up promptly for your orientation meeting at 9 a.m. Friday, January 10th. Uh, name, title, proxy level 1, classification, contingent staff. Capstone Eliza Counseling Center, Queen Anne, Seattle. Uh, WA, um, that's a region at USA that I cannot recall what it is. We're looking forward to working with you. Scanda. Alright. Evelyn Fitness. I think this is her previous job. Was it something we said? Evelyn, we've noticed you haven't checked into your customized personal training plan at Avalon Fitness in the last 971 days. We get it, life doesn't always move in a straight line. That's why we're offering a special 25 point bonus to your Avalon Prestige if you check in again within the next two weeks. There's never been a better time to get your health back on track. Avalon Fitness Strength Quantified TM stuff. Could play solitaire if I want to. What's this Bijou? Bah. This was fun, but I think I'm done with it now. I don't need to play this again. I should delete it. Uh, I was thinking on like being able to drag it or something. January 6? Wait a second, what the? Oh, yeah! Wait, what? Ah! So I think she managed to pass this spot because apparently it's already January 6th. Interesting. I might look at this later when I want to relax. Some sort of Chinese game that I think I will see through it. I'll get this game that try soon. Not right now though. Okay. I wanna look at people. Capitol Hill Station. Must be commuting to work. Maybe it's her first day at a new job too. Seems unlikely. Is she sleeping? I hope she doesn't miss her stuff. We all hope to. Ah! I think it's going to be like the same. Oh yeah. Okay. I forgot how difficult getting around this city can be sometimes. Is that it? Oh, we can continue if you want to. Okay. Is that all what that we can see around here? I believe that's it. Alright. We're continuing. Ah. Eliza, bored by Skanda. It's so strange to see it like this. Okay, what should I be doing here? Should I check in at the front desk? Wait, there's a woman I met at the orientation me meeting last week. Oh, it's already last week, okay. Hi, you're Evelyn, right? Ray. I'm not gonna say the, uh, her race, but yeah. You remember me? That's impressive. Nice. Oh man. Finally listening at Matthew Seiji Burns music directly at this one particular actor in the games. Pretty nifty. There were a lot of people at that orientation. She has a point. Of course. I've done this for a while now, so I'm pretty good at putting names to faces. <laughs> People always say they're bad at it, but it's a skill you can practice just like any other. 
True. Especially when you've been working for longer, I think it's to be expected, maybe, if you've been getting into the orientation or something. Unless she's special at some cases. In case you forgot though, I'm Ray. Come to me with all your questions, comments, complaints, whatever. <laughs> and if you look around and can't find me, I'm probably at one of the other two counseling centers I'm running right now. Oh, interesting. That dude up the holy hell. So you can count on me being back soon. Cool, cool. Three centers. Sounds like a lot of work. Yeah, I agree. Oh, it is a lot of work. <laughs> this is kind of a temporary thing. Okay. We're growing fast and hiring is one of our big challenges. Mm. That means there's decent opportunity for advancement here, if that's something you're looking to do. Ooh. That one suit is my ear. Okay, god damn it. I gotta stop being distracted with the music. It's just good. Which is nice. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So I think Ray's working at multiple centers temporarily, hopefully, because, yeah. Imagine one center uh, has lots of workers that she has to manage. Yeah, that's gonna be tough. Oh, there are choices. I'm gonna say interesting. Interesting. Shall we start with a quick tour of the office? Yeah, sure. Ray starts with the tastefully appointed lobby. There are a few people already waiting for their counseling sessions to start. You could say the Queen Anne office is Eliza's flagship location. Oh. Queen Anne office. Okay, yeah, it's the one that I read from the phone. That's one. Uh, okay, interesting. Apparently you can like check your phone in the middle of the uh, conversation as well. And I hope they don't see that as uh, disrespectful. It has 12 individual counseling rooms. Currently we're up to seeing almost 100 clients a day here. 100 clients a day? How many workers do they have? 100 a day? growth trend isn't stopping either. Hmm. Demand for Eliza keeps exceeding our expectations, especially here in Seattle for whatever reason. Hmm. Oh yeah, I gotta I gotta want to know at what year is this? I suppose the technology has been advanced for way too much. People get disconnected uh, from their uh, relationship or family stuff. Uh, they need they need this kind of like counseling in order to cope with their mental health and such. We're already looking at adding more capacity here. Either that or opening another location close by. Uh-huh. Personally, I think having a single office with 24 counseling rooms might seem a little unfriendly. So I hope we go for a second location. That will be handy, yeah. Yeah. I like to think of Eliza centers like cafes or coffee shops. A few small ones is better than one big one. True, true. A few small ones and probably one big one. Combine them and I think that would make a good corporate or something. Makes sense, I guess so. I guess so. I guess so. Yeah. Constant sensors like coffee shops? Odd metaphor. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's also true in a sense. Uh, I think it depends on how people is going to view their experiences when uh, working with Eliza or something. Not working, it's like experiencing Eliza. Yeah, I'm gonna say it that way first. Ray leads me to one of the counseling rooms. Oh, okay. And here's where the magic happens, in these little rooms. Huh, okay. Little interesting, pretty cozy rooms, I think. You'll get your assignments from the Eliza app on your phone. Okay. 
Oh, one thing to note, it's always a good idea to double check the headset to make sure it's working properly before you dive in. Double check the headset. Are you saying the one I'm currently using right now, or are you referring to Evelyn, who clearly hasn't worn any headsets? To my knowledge, we've had some quality control issues lately. Okay. Uh, mind to elaborate on that one? After that, all you need to do is initiate the session and follow the instructions. Okay. Uh, sounds good enough. Hopefully. Makes sense so far. Any questions for me? I think I got it. Seems simple enough. Um, I'm expecting to be able to ask something, <laughs> especially with what I'm what I'm meant to do here. Because, yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna suck. We'll see. We'll see. I think I got it. I think I got it. Great. Okay, cool. Before I go, just a few reminders of things we covered in orientation. No deviating from the script that Eliza gives you. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. No deviating from the script. Okay, that's gonna be tricky. Also, pretty interesting art style so far. Uh, leaning to realistic, uh, that kind of thing, of course. No checking your smartphone or anything else that would take your attention away from the client during the session. Oh, that's interesting. I remember. <laughs> oh man, this this answer will come up rather cynical. Or is it? Ah, oh, you know what? Nah. Yes, I understand. Cool. Ray stops for a moment and looks me over. It looks like you're dressed acceptably as well. Nothing snazzy, but it'll do. Yeah. Okay. I like that little smirk, uh, or smirk or something at the end of Ray's line there. Nice detail. You wouldn't believe the outfits some people come in here wearing. <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, let me double check to make sure you're all set up in the system. Ray takes out her phone and swipes a few times. Yep, looks like you're all good to go. Oh. Okay, ready to start your first counseling session as an Eliza proxy? Oh, okay. Uh, I probably have to get a little bit in detail of this kind of stuff. Eliza is, uh, to my understanding, is a programming that um, deems to be able to help um, counseling uh, when they don't feel like too safe or probably not feel comfortable on uh, conversing with the real counselor. They call do that on some sort of app or something. Uh, I'm not too well versed about this, but it's using Rogerian, uh base of the uh, what's the word? Sorry. Yeah, Rogerian psychotherapist, uh, based by Carl Rogers, about asking basic questions in order to solve uh, patients. Patients' problems, yeah, it's one of the ways. I'm still not sure I understand. Oh, that's interesting. Especially after coming to an orientation. Oh, God. Mm. I'm still not sure I understand. I'm still not sure I understand. Don't worry, there's basically nothing you can do to mess it up. <laughs> oh man, you 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 sound rather confident there, my friend. Hopefully, you're right. You just follow the prompts. It's a really impressive system. All right. Okay. If you want, have a look around the counseling office first. Get comfortable. Oh, hooray! I'll check in with you afterward. Okay. For sure. Whoa. Okay. Just what I need. Okay, Eliza proxy. Gonna check it later. So there are dozens of these locations already? There are indeed, huh? Scanner is putting some serious investment into this. Let's go. Do I want coffee? 
Actually, I think I'll skip it. Good choice. It, uh, the caffeine might not make you concentrate. Although it's going to make you less tired, but still. I hope springs come soon. At least the days are getting longer now. Uh, they like saving time, I presume. Okay. Interesting. Proxy card Racing Center. Dear Evelyn Ishino Aubrey, thank you for signing up as an Eliza proxy. Eliza is a rapidly growing counseling service driven by the world's most advanced AI. As a proxy, you serve as a personal touch that allows our clients to hear what they need to hear from a real human being, not a robot or virtual avatar like our competitors. Oh, okay, hold on a second. This is supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be competitors. Yeah, right. I remember mistaking that as competition. It's meant to be competitors. Competitors it is. This is the official Eliza app for proxies. In it, you can view important messages for propaganda, your session history, and your current level and badges. And your experience helping people help themselves with Eliza. Proxy Coordination Center, Canada Incorporated. Do not reply to this message. It is sent from an unmonitored email address. For general inquiries or to request support for your Eliza proxy account, visit the Scanda support portal. I have not performed any Eliza sessions yet. Stick to the script by Edbach. Ah, the service director. All. As Eliza counseling centers continue to open, to open across the country, I want to take a moment to remind all provider proxies, please avoid deviating from the provided script. I know that it's tempting to come to conclusions about clients on your own, that's true, but Eliza will not work if proxies differ from its judgments. Keep in mind that you are present only in order to provide the human touch to an interaction that is fundamentally between the client and Eliza. Continual violation of this policy. Oh god, whoa, what's going on with my tongue there? I said it's meant to be policy. 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 Yeah, it is policy, yeah. Continual violation of this policy may, may result in reprimand or even termination. Thank you for your attention. Eliza will not work if proxies differ from its judgments. Keep in mind you are present only in order to provide the human touch to an interaction that is fundamentally between the client and Eliza. Hmm. This will be interesting. Not very, very Gabby lately. Hey, that's valid. When you're in a talk active mood again, your recent chance will be available here. Alright. <laughs> yeah, it's totally not now though. Alright, I guess we are about set and go, I suppose. Nothing more to do here. Gotta to stick with the script, they say. Time to get started. It really looks like a therapist's office in here. Soft lighting, shooting art on the walls. Interesting though. Was this how I imagined it working? I can't remember anymore. The future happened without me. Ooh. Welcome to Eliza. That's interesting. Ooh. The headset activates. Darren Willow's introduction phase. Heart rate respiration. Oh dear. Okay. That's the headset. Let's do this! A distant looking man shuffles into the room and sits down across from me. Ah, it's a dude. Hello, Darren. Hello, Darren. Hi. Okay, that's good enough. Proxy ref response, you found the place okay? You found the place okay? Yeah. Ah, pretty basic uh, answer. How you didn't get rained on too much? <laughs> Hope you didn't get rained on too much. No, it was fine. Yeah, with low voice. Uh, good enough for voice acting there, which is interesting. It's been raining a lot, hasn't it? Hmm. 
Okay, so I think the base of this uh, introduction phase will be to just try to talk on some stuff that just, yeah, just not about their issue directly. That's the thing that I kept that I'm catching on around. It's been raining a lot, hasn't it? Oh, okay. They can do that too, apparently. It's supposed to clear up later today. Huh. Oh, um, that's good. Yeah, that's not the basic. Little sun once in a while. But... Ooh, okay. That interesting detail at the voice there at the end. Darren, what brings you here today? I really don't have any other choice, just this. Darren, what brings you here today? Although I do admit that Evelyn's uh, voice came a little bit robotic there. Maybe it's just me and my silly standard of it. Or maybe I just come off as... Yeah. But... Hmm. Maybe she's just trying to adapt with the environment and stuff. So I really cannot save that much on that one. But all right, so far still good though. Well, uh, I just feel empty inside. Ah, okay. Here we go. Discovery face. Like there was supposed to be something there, but it's missing. Mm-hmm. I see. I, I go I go to work, I, I do my work, I go home, but there's nothing there. Okay. I feel like I'm simulating a person. Hmm. Like, I, I feel like just hollow and like I'm not even alive. Sentiment analyzer, okay. Do you know what's up with that? Like a ghost or something. Hmm. How long have you felt this way? How long have you felt this way? Okay, that's good enough of a line. For a long time. And it comes and goes, but the last two weeks is when it really started to get bad. Hmm. It just suddenly came over me the way, you know, the way things are going in this world. There's no future for humanity. There's no journey toward anything. Hmm. We're being cruel to each other just to be cruel. Hmm. The negative part, uh, that's the analyzer, analyzer that it got, okay. The people who run things don't care about anything except themselves and can't stop them. Hmm. Everyone is driven by greed. Just greed. Ooh, interesting. Everyone wants to win, everyone wants to get rich, and we're all gonna die because of it. Hmm. The damage we're doing to the planet is irreversible. Hmm. We're destroying everything, and we can't even manage to stop ourselves. Hmm. Do you remember anything in particular that caused the feelings? That's quite some lines to hold hell. Really feel bad for the dude. Do you remember anything in particular that caused these feelings? Do you remember anything in particular that caused these feelings? Okay, that's a good tone. The state of the world is what's causing these feelings. Oh. I was on a walk the other day. I thought maybe uh, I could clear my head. Mm hmm. And all I could see was construction cranes and new development and oceans of money flowing in, distorting everything. Hmm. Suddenly the whole city felt so, so damaged, so corrupted. Hmm. I felt like I was an alien in a hostile world, a world that hated me. Hmm. And we're building it. We're building this hell. We're choosing to build it right here, so... So what's the point? 
Yeah, the emotion level is not really doing too good here, but let's see what's up next. Probably overloaded your system with that, huh? <laughs> your machine learning or whatever it is you got going on in there. Interesting. Oh, really? I mean, is that meant to be how I respawn here? I'm gonna meant to like. I mean, wait, no, no, no. They they should have been briefed that they know Eliza is this kind of proxy that generates response on um, based on how they talk, and uh, they're going to generate the response depending on how necessary it is. But yeah. I think he knows what's up. Let's focus on you for the moment. Are these feelings of your experiencing affecting your ability to function at work? Um hmm. good question. Are these feelings you're experiencing affecting your ability to function at work? I haven't been doing a whole lot of work. I just don't understand why I should bother. Why Anyone should bother. Nobody in management's noticed yet, but eventually someone will. I'll get fired. Ooh, God. Kinda can relate here, but I've been keeping up with my pace, so so far I'm still doing fine. Not with this dude, though, sadly. I'm just thinking about getting fired for them, you feel. Uh. Ooh, I kind of know their response after this, but we'll see to it. And how does thinking about getting fired for that make you feel? Honestly, I feel good about it. Ah. They don't deserve me dragging them down. Hmm. Interesting. Everyone there is smart and motivated and has a wonderful, promising career. You have beautiful, successful people. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, they registered that enough, which is nice. Yeah, we moved to a swanky new building, expensive area, fancy restaurants, you know, fancy bars. <laughs> everything is nice. Um, everything is nice. That tone from it, there. Everything is nice, and I feel terrible. Yeah, that's what I thought. You say I believe your co-workers are happy. Stats. Hmm. Huh. Interesting proxy response. Let's see what's up. You said you believe your co-workers are happy. Yeah. I mean, way more than I am, at least. They're all doing so much better than me. Oh, challenge face. Ah, yeah, like uh, it's some sort of challenge in their uh, perception or something like that. And the music also changed dynamically. Interestingly. Why do you say that? Because they just aren't bothered by things the way I am. They see what's going on in the world, and they just they just share memes about it and. Laugh and go on doing their jobs. Mm. The real horror of it doesn't get through to them. They still want to achieve their goals. They're still happy. Mm. They're getting promotions and falling in love and getting married and taking these wonderful trips to Japan or Sweden or wherever. Big mountains and expensive food on their timeline. Oh, God. The, kind of the toxic part of it. They sh he should stop looking at it if that's his problem or something. Also, I gotta keep in mind this is version ten three three of Eliza. I yeah, that may change later. Would you be happy if you had those things too? Ooh, good. That's pretty good. Would you be happy if you had those things too? I don't know. I don't have them. Hmm. I don't have anything to be happy about. 
Look, all I really want, all I want is to understand why. Why this is happening, why I'm here. Mm. I mean, there has to be a reason, right? True, true, that's true. Because otherwise, why do I, why do I exist? Why? This pain, this, uh, this one thing after another, and what's the point? Hmm. Do I have any cause to be hopeful about anything? Look at this world. It look, really, really look, and tell me with a straight face that there is. Hmm. Okay, Darren, let's try something. Okay, Darren, let's try something. Hmm. My knees are better for you. What does that look like? Oh, huh? Huh, imagine that things are better for you. Okay, okay. That's good, that's good. Imagine that things are better for you. What does that look like? Good. What does that look like? I don't know. Hmm. It looks like knowing that something matters at, at all. Knowing that something matters at all. Ooh, increase agitation. But nothing I do will matter. Nothing matters. Not against the face of human indifference. Hmm. This, this absurdity. Oh, oh man. I. Hmm. Heart rate's increasing. That's not good. That's really not good. Are there any other things that come to mind? Mm. Like what? I wish I could talk to people. Really talk to people, have some actual communication. Yeah. Like right now, I wish I could talk to you. Yeah. To you. You as a human being. Yeah, I see what I see what he means for sure. Like he knows this is designed by Eliza, like the proxy response. I feel like I know he knows this. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. I wonder uh, how the end of this session will be. But I can't. You're just following the script that's yep. been given to you. Just as I told you. You're not supposed to say anything on your own. Look, I know how this works. I figure he knows. It's just a bunch of AI, machine learning, deep learning, whatever the fuck you're calling it now. Oh boy. <laughs> oh man. Look, I'm desperate and I can't even talk to a real human being. Then why are you coming to Eliza, man? You know that it works. Like, do you have any friends or so? Or like, hmm. Ooh, that makes me actually wonder. Does any company that operates outside lies actually still exist in this world? I'm actually questioning about that. How did it end up like this? Oh no. Oh no, dude. This is not the proper proxy response. <laughs> oh no. Please, try to stay focused. I can't help you if you aren't speaking clearly. No, 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 no. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm done with this. Look, I, I shouldn't even have come. This is, this is making me worse. Yep. Why can't you just talk to me as you? You, the person sitting there. I don't want to talk to a machine. The person who's sitting in front of me. I want her to say something. I want that person to say something, please. Anything, anything, please. 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 <laughs> okay, hi, Darren. Oh, dear. Is okay. that... Hi, Darren. Is that... Is that really you? Oh, dear. Oh, my God. Clever proxy response, you bastard. Yes, it's me. You're not following the script right now. Okay, I do wonder about uh, their response though. Wait, say, so, say something weird. Say something only a human would say. <laughs> oh, hell no! Mm. Hmm. Ugh. Oh, God. Oh, this is agony. This is agony. I need. I need. 
I need... I need choices. I need choices, for real. Darren, I'm going to get in trouble if I deviate from Eliza for too long. No, I know, I just... Yeah. My real name is Evelyn. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Well, it's, uh... Nice to meet you, Evelyn. Good. I didn't expect you would actually do that. Do that for me. I'm not used to people doing things for me. Mm. Okay, Darren. I have some recommendations for you. Oh, already getting to the fishing phase. That's interesting. <laughs> Back to the program, huh? Yeah. So we decided to send breathing. First, I'm going to send a set of breathing exercises for you to do. Oh god. I think this will feel like too much. Use them when things start to feel like too much. Force reflow during execution. Yeah, I do feel so. You find this kind of wellness app on your phone. Oh. You'll find them in the Skanda wellness app on your phone. Oh god damn. Second, I'm going to ask you to psychiatrist. Second, I recommend asking your doctor or psychiatrist about Nexophen. God damn it. I... God damn it, man. The session could have been longer if it's not for Eliza proxy response. I'm already starting to kind of dislike this app for now. Based on my analysis, this medication might help you feel better. Evelyn. Evelyn, Evelyn, Evelyn. It's a nice name. Interesting. Really interesting. Response from Darren. Look, I'm 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 sorry. I, thank you. Good. Please go for that you understand their recommendations. Please confirm that you understand the recommendations. Yes, yes, I I, I did. Thank you. Okay, good. Thank you, Darren. We hope to see you back soon. That's conclusion. Yeah, I will. I mean, yeah, yeah, I, I will. Outside this session, of course. Thank you for speaking with Eliza, your personal counseling partner. Hmm. The way Evelyn, the way Evelyn says that, uh, it's interesting. There's a bit of, bit of side of that, I think. Goodbye. Yeah. Bye. Oof. Okay, that's a nice voice acting. Holy hell, that's very bitter. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting session results too. Oh, no clan rating. <laughs> and no clan tip too. Noted. Wow. Uh, that was intense. It is indeed. Hey, how'd it go? I, I don't know. Why? What happened? Uh, hold on, I can check the log. Ray takes her phone out of her pocket again. You're going to listen to the session? Is that okay? Oh yeah, I have privacy clearance. Ah, oh, okay. Miss Privacy Clearance? This is still a new service, so we need to be able to monitor sessions for a variety of reasons. It's flawed as frick. There could be bugs in the software we need to examine more closely. We're pretty upfront about all this. Ray stares at the phone and watches for a while. Oh. Mm. <laughs> One of these guys. <laughs> One of these guys? Yeah, we get people in who demand to speak to a real human being. Oh yeah, right, right. Those guys. It happens often enough that we made Eliza capable of handling it with a special script. Hmm. Special script. It's nice to know things are working as designed. 
Ooh, is it? Ugh, is it? Hell. Huh, that's a pretty slick feature. I wouldn't have thought to create something like that. Do you think that guy will be okay? He seemed pretty unhappy. Who knows? Hmm. Hopefully he gets his prescription and takes his meds and answers our follow-up reminders, but... Hmm. It's tough. We can't make them take their meds or come in when they're supposed to. That's true. Eventually it all comes up to them. Unless, of course, the guy eventually meets Evelyn outside the Eliza counseling session. That's a possibility. All we can do is suggest those things. Tell them they really ought to be doing it. Ultimately, they're the ones who have to decide to follow the plan. Yep. It's kind of a shame. I, uh, I wish we had more leverage. Interesting line. We'd help way more people if we could track their compliance. Oh, nice soothing music. But that's probably too much to ask for at this point. Yeah. I think he might have needed way more help than Eliza can give. Evelyn, you're my damn hero. Is there anything like referring clients to other forms of care? That's what I had in mind in the middle of the session. Ray looks a little surprised. Well, there is a disclaimer before every session saying if your problems are really serious, we aren't qualified to address them. Okay, that's fair. I think an external care referral feature was on our development roadmap at some point. External care referral feature? Hmm. Um, I'm not sure what happened with that, actually. Ouch. Huh, maybe I'll ask Ed next time I see him. Hmm, I wish I could have said something other than what he told me to. <laughs> oh. oh no. Maybe not here to be said about. I see why a lot of proxies are tempted to go off script. Hmm. Oh, oh, okay, this is fun. Fun choices. This will be my sympathetic side. This will be me likely hiding my sympathetic side instead. Let's try not to ruin our first day in here and uh, be done with it. I see why a lot of proxies are tempted to go off script. Yeah, I totally know how it feels. A really intense client like that can be intimidating, and you're motivated to help them. Hmm. But to succeed as a proxy, you really need to let go and let Eliza do its thing. Oof. Frick, I, I disagree so bad. God damn it. I know that not having any choice feels weird, but sometimes life is like that. Ugh, really? Sometimes you don't have any choices and you just have to follow directions. Most jobs are like that, honestly. Hmm. Hmm. No comment on that. That's just how it works. Okay, it just sounded like... He sounded like he could use more help. Like, maybe right away. Hmm. Believe me, I understand. I've been a proxy plenty of times myself. When people get emotional, it's hard not to feel for them really strongly. Hmm. But that's exactly why Eliza works. It evaluates from a more distant perspective, a neutral perspective. That's quite fair, actually. Hmm. Besides, if proxies started offering their own opinions, well, that'd just be a big mess. Ooh, haha, yep, that's why I didn't choose the first one. Not to mention there'd be all kinds of problems with liability. Yeah, I think so. Still, I get it. I really do. That was definitely more intense than the average session. Mm-hmm. Why don't you take a few minutes to center yourself again? Good. Good, good, uh, good suggestion. Have some tea or coffee and take a few deep breaths. <laughs> No rush, okay.
Okay, sure. Okay, sure. That was a lot. I definitely need the moment. Oh, hello. Who is this? Nora. Oh, zip chat. I see. Hi, Nora. How you been? I could be better. Hmm. Fine, I guess. Nah, I'm gonna be honest, I think. Let's see. Uh, I started a new job, finally. Who is this Nora? Is this even like our friend or something? <laughs> I have no idea, but... Let's assume that they are. New job, finally. Oh yeah, it's good, you found work again. What is the work? It's nothing special. It's just an office job. <laughs> How about you? Good. I'm doing quite well. Actually, I have something to tell you about. This is maybe sudden, but... Can you meet up after work today? It'll be good to talk about it face to face. Uh... Oh. Yes, you will see. Also... You should come to my show. I sent a flyer, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> sure, I guess. I didn't realize you were playing shows now. That is why you should come. Interesting. I'll take a few minutes to calm down like Ray suggested. Maybe I could play some solitaire. Ho ho ho! It's about time, baby! Oh man, alright. Yep, totally gonna wrap that episode at this point. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, looking forward to episode 2. Where um, we're going to just try and win with solitaires and uh, looking at the flyer of Nora's show or something. So yeah, take care everyone. Uh, I don't have any other suggestion, but yeah, be good.